Hello, sports fans. Clump here with TTM video number 70. Got three returns to go through, all successes. But first, I've got a contest win from my friend, your friend, Caleb at Caleb's Cards, TTM Autographs, and more. He did his contest, the I Still Got It contest, and I posted the video. Not necessarily of me disking, of me out disking, but it didn't really show me disking, so I feel I owe him one. Weather's getting better. I'll get a video out there of that for him. But now what I won was three eight by ten autograph photos. Ooh, these are gonna be hard to get on camera. First one, Eric the Red, Eric Davis. Very nice. Eric Davis originally wanted to play in the NBA, but did not want to go to college. And at the time, the NBA wasn't drafting out of the out of high school. So since he wasn't drafted by the NBA and was drafted by the Cincinnati Reds in 1980, 200th overall, he decided to play baseball. He made his major league debut in 1984 and played for Cincinnati from 84 to 91. Played for the Dodgers in 92 and 93. Played for my Tigers in 93 and 94, and was back with the Reds in 96. Played for the Baltimore Orioles in 97 and 98. And played for the Cardinals in 99 and 2000, and played for the Giants in 2001. He was an All Star twice. He won three Gold Gloves, two Silver Sluggers, won the Roberto Clemente Award in 1997, and of course was a World Series champ in 1990 with those Reds. He has also been enshrined in the Cincinnati Reds Hall of Fame. So very cool. And Eric Davis is not an easy autograph to get. So that is very, very cool. Thank you so much, Caleb. Also got a sweet Carney Lansford. Very nice picture. Autograph there. Oh, it's going to be hard to get them all even on the table. Cardi Lansford was drafted by the Angels in 1975 and made his major league debut in 78. Played for those Angels from 78 to 1980. Played for the Red Sox in 81 and 82, but found his home in Oakland in 83 and was there till 92. He was an all-star in 88. He was the American League batting champ and won the Silver Slugger in 81. He was, a, of course, a World Series champ in 1989. And he has a lifetime batting average of 290, and he has over 2,000 hits. After retirement, he was a batting coach for the Giants and the Rockies and many minor league affiliates, and he may still be coaching somewhere to this day. Very cool. Carney Lancer, of course, he does not sign through the mail, so it's very nice to have a Carney Lansford autograph. I don't know how I would have gotten it otherwise. And the last one is the great Willie Horton. This guy is a superhero here in Michigan. Not only was he a great ball player, but he was a great man as well. Very, very great person. He was a four-time All-Star, World Series champ, of course, in 1968. Had his number retired by those Tigers. He coached for a bit for the Yankees and the White Sox before coming home to Detroit in 2003 as a special assistant. He threw out the first pitch in the 06 World Series at Comerica Park and was honored by the state of Michigan with Willie Horton Day, October 18, 2012. Willie's the fourth person Michigan has ever honored with their own day, the third being Rosa Parks. In 1967, during the worst riots Detroit has ever seen, 
he stood on top of a car in the middle of the chaos in his tiger's uniform and pled for the people to stop. To no avail, but he tried. What a guy, what a humanitarian, what a ball player. Willie Horton, just a great man. All right, thank you so much, Caleb. Those are amazing. As you can see, I got them framed. They will go on the wall of greatness soon. Very cool. On to the TTMs. First is a one-of-one -one in 38 days from former NFL and XFL wide receiver, Stepfret Williams. Mr. Williams signed the 96 select there. Rookie card. Very nice. Looks great in black on that card. <clears throat> Stepfret attended Northeast Louisiana University. He was a three-time All-Southland Conference athlete, and he was also an academic All-Southland Conference student. He was drafted in 96 by Dallas. He played for the Cowboys in 96 and 97, played for the Bengals in 98, was signed by the Chargers in 2000, but never played a regular season game with them. Then he played one season in the XFL in 2001, and he was the league's leading receiver. And of course, the league then promptly folded after that season. Then it was back, then it folded, now The Rock owns it. It may be back, we don't know. But very cool. Very nice signature. Thank you so much, Mr. Williams. Next is a one of one in 25 days from current center fielder for the Phillies, Adam Hazley. Got Mr. Hazley on this. Oh, I forgot what year it was. 2013. Panini. Celebrating when he played for the national team in the 18 and under World Baseball Championship. Something like that. A lot of words gets confusing. But yeah, the 18 and under national USA national team. Very nicely. Adam Hazley played, of course, in that 2018 and under World Cup for the U.S. national team as an outfielder and a pitcher. And they won. He also attended the University of Virginia, where he and the Cavs won the 2015 College World Series, where he also played outfield and pitched. He pitched five scoreless innings and held his own at the plate as well. He was drafted eighth overall by Philly in 2017. Made his major league debut in 2019. Played in 40 games in 2019, 40 games in 2020. And it's looking like he will make it to be the starting center fielder for Philly this year. He was injured during spring training, and it looked like he wouldn't make it the starting day. But literally yesterday, the day before, news is coming out that it's looking like he's going to be back and he will actually make it to start in center field for the Phillies. How cool. Poor guy was injured when he signed this card for me. Thank you so much. What a guy. Great return. All right. The last is a three of two in 12 days. And this one, I was worried about it, but man, what a success. From another Michigan hero. The last pitcher to ever win more than 30 games in one season, Denny McLean, sent me this business card, which we'll go into that in a little bit here because that's an interesting story as well that he has a business. He also signed my index card pouch that I make, which I'll cut that out and make it very nice and frame it up with a picture. It'll be just amazing, but. Oh, man, got to love it. Even on the index card, 31-6, 1968. Very, very happy to get this return back. This was a uh, 2 for 10. 
I sent two cards. I sent 10 bucks to Top of the Mound Productions in Brighton, Michigan, about 40 miles down the road. And Mr. McLean also signed this. Oh, man, I have no idea. This is a, what, 2006 Upper Deck something or another. Nice picture. 1963 to 1970. Eddie McLean, 31-6, 1968. Very cool. I got these cards in a lot. They came in a lot with some vintage Tigers cards I bought. And I figured... If I was nervous, I might as well try it with these cards rather than get some actual vintage and try it and fail. And he also signed the 2012 Panini Golden Age of Baseball card. And again, inscribed the 31-6, 1968. Both of them show up great in the thin blue Sharpie. Unbelievably happy to have these cards back. Denny McLean was signed by the White Sox out of high school in 1962, but they left him in the minor leagues for over a year. And at that time, if a team left a player in the minors for over a year, they were subject to waivers. I had some confusing stuff. But anyway, they left him in the minors too long, and Detroit snatched him in 1963. And guess who he made his major league debut against? Yes, it was those White Sox. He not only held them to one earned run, he picked off two base runners and hit a home run in his first game. He's one of only six pitchers to hit a major league home run as a teenager. 19 years old. He pitched for Detroit, of course, from 63 to 70. Pitched for the Senators in 71. The Athletics and the Braves in 72. He was a three-time All-Star. Led the AL in wins twice. Was the AL MVP, of course, in 68. World Series champ in 68. Won a Cy Young in 68. He also won another Cy Young. Just an amazing pitcher. Not a very long career burned bright for a while when he was on he was one of the best after retiring Denny McLean went into business and he owned his own business in Chessoning, Michigan not far from where I grew up and he got in trouble there in the 90s he got in trouble he still to this day denies that he knew anything about it and that he done it to this day he still denies it but he got in trouble. He wound up going to prison for six years. And when he got out of prison, things were tough. When he first got out of prison, he worked at a gas station on Mound Road and 16 Mile. Eight miles outside of Detroit, because of course, Eight Mile is the northern border of Detroit, most of you know from the movie. And I tried. I swung by that gas station numerous times, hoping that he'd be in there, and he only worked there for a very short time. And the morning shock jocks on the rock and roll radio station in Detroit, 101 The Rift, Drew and Mike, got word of what was going on, and they started having him do guest appearances on their show. That led to another radio show. That led to the, led to the newspaper articles, and... Now he's got his own radio show. He's got, he's doing, and he, he even now has his own business again. So, what a great comeback story. Denny McLean, what a pitcher. No one will ever win 30 or more games in a year ever again. Unless something drastic happens to baseball. There goes my phone, yay. All right. I would like to thank Caleb. Oh, no, no. I almost forgot. I was about to thank Caleb, Mr. Caleb Craig, from Caleb's Cards, Autographs, TTMs, and more. And I remembered, with my win from Caleb, he sent along this custom 2016 tops. Caleb Craig, third baseman for the Colorado Rockies. 
And you can see 2016 tops, hometown position, everything, Colorado. Thank you for all your support on my channel. You are a valued subscriber and friend in the hobby. I look forward to seeing your comments, what you get in your collection. Caleb's cards, autographs, TTMs, and more. So very cool. That will be displayed randomly throughout the life of my channel. You'll be seeing it. All right. Thank you, Caleb Craig. Thank you, Stepford Williams. Thank you, Adam Hazley. Thank you, the great Denny McLean. Thank you guys for watching. Best of luck on your return. See you again soon.